Ring Y, you can use any kind of suspension trainer for this, but Ring Y, we're gonna get the arms up above our head. Arms need to be at about 135 degrees. And we're gonna walk our feet forward. We're gonna, so we're gonna start in end range, and then we're gonna walk our feet forward feel, till we feel a little bit of a load in our upper back and shoulders. Then we're gonna fall into it, hold, fall into it, hold. Important not to throw the hips forward and try to worm this thing up, don't do that. Abs stay tight, butt stays tight, and make the shoulders only go to where they can. So that I shorted that one a little bit, but if that's where your shoulder goes to, that's completely fine. That's where you stop. You don't want to, you don't want that rib cage to flare out. You don't want to hyperextend your hips. You don't want to leave your hips back behind you. You don't want to throw your arm way back behind your body. You want to go as far as you can, not as far as you can't. That is a ring Y.